Hello and welcome to another Crafters Toolbox. Before we get started, don't forget to take a minute and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. This time I wanted to take a look at how I souped up these flowers even more than they are when you stamp them. So this is a Build a Flower Stamp set from Alta New, and this is what the flowers look like once you've applied all the different layers of stamps in varying colors to get some detail. I wanted to add even more. I didn't necessarily want to make it look realistic, but I did want to add some depth so it would really pop up off the page. So this is a pretty simple thing to do. The stamping does a lot of the work, but we're going to add just a little bit more detail with a black pen and some extra little fun gold dots for the stamens. So I'm using these precision pens. These are fine tipped pens for all sorts of purposes. A lot of people use these for journaling, but they come in all sorts of different widths. So they go from uh, 0 0.01 to 0 0.08. And there's two zero threes in here, which is what we'll be using today. So a 0 0.03. And we'll also be using this all-purpose ink from Sukaneko. This is the Vegas Gold. And you've seen me use this for a lot of different things. So I love this stuff. So this is kind of what it looks like as we go along. So we start off with a, um, with a flower that we've completed. And I'm just going to take my marker here, or pen, and just start adding in some flicks, just like you would if you were doing Copic coloring, just to add in that detail around these darker edges. And you can see that sometimes I'm even making a line and then just a little swoosh or a little scribble, if you will. And this just adds a whole lot. You don't have to be precise with this and you don't have to put them everywhere, but you can. And the other nice thing about this is like, say in this spot here, where I kind of misaligned the stamp a little bit so there's a lighter color in here, I can just cover that up with the black and add in some flicks. And no one will ever know that there's a lighter color under there that just didn't quite look right. So again, and I can even make this petal stand out a little more here. Fill in this black here. And that really just helps everything to stand out a little more. So easy peasy, I'm basically done with this flower. I'm just going to go ahead and add some more stamen detail, just with some flicks here. And that doesn't look super great right now, but when I go ahead and start working with the all-purpose ink, it's gonna look fantastic. So you've seen me use these tools, the um, silicone ends for adding in masking fluid. Well, on these light blue ones, there's these little dot nibs on the other end. And let me just shake this up. And I just work from the cap. And if I grab a little dot on the end here, I can go ahead and go dot, 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 dot. And you can see that the dots get smaller as I go. So I start in a completely different place so I don't have a whole bunch of big dots right next to each other. And I just start putting these in to help embellish the center of the flower. And you can do, you could do just that few which would be perfectly fine. Or you can go ahead and, and add in more and make it as fantastical as you wanted to. So that's very simply how I added some additional detail to this project that really made these flowers pop out. You can see I did some on these leaves too, and I even added some onto these little buds around the flower here. So I hope you enjoyed this little look into how I added some detail to this project. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me again for more in the Crafters Toolbox. But until next time, happy crafting.